Hi guys. I wanted to make a video about using difficulties and things that come up in our lives as um, part of our training. I actually have COVID right now for the second time. Um, today is the, let's see, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, two. Today is day number four. Um, I... Um, you know, I've been having symptoms and everything, but I feel like I'm doing pretty well with it. But at the same time, it is triggering one of my symptoms that I've had for about 10 years, and that hasn't gone away. And um, the COVID seems to be enhancing it. And so the symptom is really strong right now, and it's actually causing some distress. So I'm noticing that I'm feeling a lot more anxiety than I had been feeling before COVID. And it's interesting because I'm not afraid of COVID. I've had it before, and I'm doing okay. But it does seem to be triggering some of my symptoms and anxiety being one of them. Um, so I'm finding that interesting. I mean, I understand that when there's a virus or some other trigger in our lives that um, the nervous system is being challenged and going into protective mode or um, survival mode so my limbic system right now is probably ramped up because I'm also noticing, um, I'm feeling like I'm more sensitive to noise. I'm feeling more sensitive to the sounds around me, stuff like that. So it definitely feels like my nervous system is in a hyper alert state. So anyway, um, with the anxiety that I'm feeling right now, um, I'm not liking it. But I am trying to put, it, put into practice all the things that I talk about on this channel, which is, you know, relaxing and staying calm, not reacting to the symptoms that I'm feeling or the sensations that I'm feeling, and um, uh, just trying to use this COVID um, as a time to retrain my brain. Because from what I understand with um, neuroplasticity, it's when our brains are in that heightened state of anxiety and you know being triggered, that's when our brains are the most um, neuroplastic and the ability to change is there. And obviously it can, the ability to change in a negative or a positive way. So with having COVID now, um, I want my brain to be changing in a positive way. So I'm, I don't want anything that I'm experiencing now to become a long-term issue because I don't respond well. So I want to use this as a training time where I can come out of it better than when I went in. So I'm working with these sensations and um, really trying to keep myself calm and not focus on the uncomfortable sensations, but to act as normal as possible, which I've been doing. I wrapped a bunch of Christmas presents yesterday, put all my clothes away, made the bed, um, you know, I get right up and I take a shower and I do the things that I would normally do. So I'm acting as normal as possible because I want to show my brain that I'm okay, that it doesn't have to be scared, that I'm going to be fine. So that's how I'm handling this right now. And um, I do have a coaching session with my with the pain PT this afternoon at five o'clock, which was already scheduled before I even knew that I was gonna have COVID, obviously. I didn't schedule COVID, um, but I'm so glad I have that today because I'll be able to talk to him about this and how I'm feeling like some of my symptoms or sensations or whatever have been triggered. 
and so I know he'll be able to guide me. So once I talk to him and stuff, I'll probably do a follow-up video and just let you know how that went and, you know, maybe if he had some suggestions or whatever, I can share them with you for any times in the future that you guys can use something you're going through as a training time. You know, we have to use these, take these as opportunities to retrain our brains when we're going through stuff like this. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Have a great day.